My name is Chelsea Wannenberg. My pseudo company is called Chels Potts, and right now we are in my BFA gallery showroom. So you, well, I guess the first question is, so you've got a, a lot of ceramics mm -hmm. and you've also got some printmaking. Yes. Um, but you've taken this small Merlino gallery and very much not so much showing an individual piece on a pedestal, but right. you've done an installation. Right. Including the front desk with <laughs> you at it. Yes. So so what is the show and, and, and is your presence here part of the part of the installation? Uh yeah, the installation is more supposed to be less like a gallery setting and more like a shop, like a store somewhere where you're supposed to interact with the pieces and ideally things would be for sale. Uh, and this would be kind of where people would purchase things and I can interact with, with them. They can ask questions. And, and, and we've got this rich, luscious. Yes. So this is a little more elaborate than most uh, yeah. guest books. I, I found this at a thrift store and I felt like it had so much rich history and kind of related to the rest of the found objects in this space. And I wanted to turn it into a contact book. So often um, when we do prints, we, we don't make a stack. We, we frame them and hang them on uh -huh. the wall. When we do uh, 3D objects, we mm -hmm. put them on pedestals. Right. Is this oppositional to that or, or Yes, what's I definitely, I feel like when something is on a pedestal, it's very much don't touch me. I'm a, gal I'm a gallery, I'm sterile. And this is supposed to be somewhere where people can interact with them. This is, they're wrapped kind of like how you would find a print in a store. And so someone can pick them up and relate to them. And you know, you don't want to buy something unless you touch them. Oh, okay. Well, they're, they, they're here the same, but oh, okay. we have these great gnome skeletons. So, and then, so what's the story there? It kind of reminds me of a uh, the bird-headed dwarfs in Annie Dillard's book for the time being. Uh, you know, I really don't know. I had a, I had a magazine, a gnome magazine, um, and I found these. Oh, oh, the gnome and the gnome skeleton. Yeah, uh -huh. so here, they're here together. So, so I the also hat have, really changes it, doesn't it? It really does. The hat gives you this a lot of power. This could just be a dwarf, but um, then I also have a, let's see if I can get him out of here. Them together. Whoops. So here they are together relating to one another. And then you can really see that he's the, the gnome skeleton and not just a skeleton separate. Um, but that was a fun thing to do. Um, then we also have this great uh, bird skeleton, which I've been told by multiple people in your class that it uh, reminds them of the bird Kevin from Up. Oh, okay. So apparently that is the skeleton of the bird that is mythical in that movie, but it's a Who real knew? thing. Who knew? Yeah. So I told one of the students that I would name this print Kevin after that bird. <laughs> uh, and then I also have these kind of space sage with the people. I'm not really sure how to explain this print other than I found it beautiful and was something I needed to alter. So I added this hand, kind of a silhouette of a hand. Um, doesn't really have any hidden meaning. I just it kind of it, it kind of has a gestalt. Yeah. It, it kind of you're there. Right. But I'm not I'm not sure how to explain it. But I I do I'm drawn to it. I think that's all that's in here. Um, but again, I just wanted people to be able to to touch them to feel like they were for sale. They are tangible and relatable. Um, so functional art is good. Functional art is good. Functional art is what I'm drawn to and what, what I want to continue making. So I guess we think of you know, a gallery exhibition as things on the wall and pedestals yes. and so on. Mm -hmm. And we think of a shop, you know, I'm sure plenty of shop people don't just throw their stuff in, but you know, right. we've been to the 99 cent store yes, and we just and see it's this. it's just things lining shelves. And right. so this is somewhere in between. It's a, it's kind, it's a shop, in, shop as art installation. Yes. It's, it's staged, it's um, meant to be beautiful. People have told me that they feel like they're walking into my house, kind of, uh, which, I'm, which I like. I like the, the feeling of warmth that it gives to people. Um, it's not cluttered, it's separate enough for people to see each individual piece and they don't blend in. Like the holiday sale, it's... Uh, tables and then they're lined with with pots and you can't even see each individual thing so 
I wanted to separate them enough so that people would take the time to look at each individual grouping. So when, when we try to create these kind of, in some ways, almost spiritual spaces where we present art, Mm -hmm. you know, and give people the breathing room and the time to express it, are we maybe inadvertently separating the art from life? You mean separate from this space? Or so in, in kind of a traditional white cube kind of installation, right. which uh -huh. has lots of advantages. So it's yeah. been much obviously derided, but it has lots of great qualities. Uh -huh. but, um, but I do feel like that doing it like that in that very sterile white cube, like you're saying, I think that separates from life. But I think that this kind of the interaction that you make with the pots is the opposite of that. Or I guess that was my intention to be the opposite of that. So rediscovering art and life. Yes, combining them and the combination of, of the domestic and art, I guess. Like having these aprons and having the, the fabrics um, kind of just inviting you. I don't know why I'm looking at the the, fat, the, the aprons and it's mm -hmm. making me think of like opening ceremony. Do you know that, that shop? that uh, no. the, the two designers who, um, you know, have just collected from so many other designers and mm -hmm. they're showing the work in. Right. It's basically a shop, but it has a sort of a different quality and, uh -huh. and they've got, you know, kind of eclectic elements and. Right, I'll know. have to look that up. It's called opening ceremony? Yeah, like the Olympics. I'll have to write that down. Opening ceremony. Okay, so look for a Chell's Pots near you. Yes, wonderful, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.